guys. I'm Michelle Wright with the CalWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's Friday and that means it's Tip Friday and I am going to show you how I line up the Royal Peacock, the Peacock Excel, okay? This little tip is going to help you immensely. So, let me tell you right off the bat, you're going to need your Stamparatus, okay? And I've got my Stamparatus here, and I've got both plates, all right? But I'm going to go ahead and remove this one plate, just because it's easier for filming. But if I wasn't filming and I didn't have all this in my way, I wouldn't need to do that. I could use them both. So, I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White, and I'm going to put it all the way up in the corner, all right? And you know what I need to do? Let me show you real quick. Underneath here, I've got my silicone mat. Gives me just a little bit of extra oomph. So let's put that magnet up there and this one down here because when you use your photopolymer stamps, sometimes they will stick to your cardstock just a bit. So if it moves, see how it pulls that up? I can just push it right back down in that corner. Now let's bring our case in slide myself over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry for the glare. I'm using Granny Apple Green. Getting that inked up really well. Make sure that's in the corner. Just pushing on it. That looks great. Now let me remove this plate. Like I said, I would usually just have my other plate at the top. So, Here's the full bird. Now, peacocks, the little circles are called eyes, all right? That's what those are. They're eyes that are on their tails. And so, you can actually line up the eyes in their tails, and you can see through it and get it perfect. Trust me, you're going to want to do this. All those little dots, I can see they're right where they belong. Now, if this pulls up, I'm not going to worry about it because I can know I can put it right back down here. The more I use that stamp, the less sticky that will be. But that guarantees to take care of it for me. So, yeah. Did we move? Oh, we moved just a smidge. We moved a smidge. We don't want that, so let's do it again. So you get to see me do it twice. Just find this one down here at the bottom and then just kind of hold it. And then get it all the rest of them will line up. And then I'm going to push this back down. Get it all in the corner. Boy, those magnets are strong on the Stamparatus. Now let's see how we look. Looks good. So let's bring in our blueberry bushel. Get this gorgeous bird nice and inked up. A little massage. And there you go. How gorgeous is that? Love, love, love it. So, that is how you line up your peacock. Do the detailed one first, come back, and do the full bird on top of it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tip video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I'll listen to two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.